All right. Hey guys, how's it been? It's been a whole week since I've done a attempt -tem video. <laughs> but I had my reasons. I did leave it on the post community and uh I was also playing all Stark of course, but um I was just taking a break because uh my uh my flare was reacting up out of all of a sudden as well and I couldn't really get any sleep, so I was just trying to you know fix that going and uh yeah, that was that was kind of a pain in the butt, quite literally. <laughs> but yeah, so hopefully you guys have had a very good week last week. Uh, I forgot what I did last week on Temtem. I, I think I did some radars, but I didn't get anything, so that's probably why. Hopefully this week, you know, it's Sunday when I made make this video, so you're going to see it on Monday. Hopefully the Luma week is nice, so I, I wish all of you luck on your Luma week. I also wanted to ask if any of you are playing Not Stark, if any of you are on Una. On the Una server, hit me up. I'm playing on that server right now, and it's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I'm not sure what I want to do for content on that game if I even decide to make content on it because um, I'm not one to make guides. I'm not one to make like you know advice and stuff. I feel like I'm not someone that could really be making you know guides and advices. That's why I don't really do it for Temptum. I just you know play the game and that's it. I mean, you guys seen how I play. I don't. I'm not like one of the best players. <laughs> you know, I just play to to play. But um, yeah. So let's get back to it. We're going to be make uh, using a new team, a personal team of mine, honestly. Um, so I can use my Lumas. Uh, so let's check the team out real quick. So um, this is going to be the team. Oh, I almost dismissed her. Um, I did not get to finish their um i didn't get to fix their spreads so their spreads aren't going to be very accurate so i can't really tell you to be using the spread please don't oh my god and i just yawned i'm so sorry about that but uh you know this is a typical build for her she doesn't really have anything really going for her um so heat up crystal bite meteor swarm meteor hell she has a lot of aoe going on though she's a very tanky girl We've got K-Ron here for our Sentinel and our Hellfire Synergy to go alongside our Ana Hat, Ana Tan, I mean, uh, Fire Soul, Fire Tornado, Mud Shower, just, you know, just a very standard setup. Fire and Attack, 232 speed, that's the speed break that I like to use. We've got OB-10 for Sparks here when we can use it. We reset as well if we need it. Plasma Beam for those um, fast uh, burns in case we want to do some quick damage reductions. We've got Beretta, our... Wow, I already forgot its name. <laughs> I stopped playing for a week and I forgot its name. Oh no. Bracolum, Bracolum. There you go, Bracolum. Oh my god. But we got Bark Shield for some defense, Plague, We Send Trap, Soul Shout. There's actually something else with this that I want to show you guys. Um, uh, which is probably ne the next time. Yep, it is. Okay, so Tutu's back into the team. With Tag Team as its... Um, this time so we're using feather gatling nauseous bomb and i believe we're using um schwein's horn on it uh yeah we're using uh schwein's horn so uh the point you're you're probably like looking at it and brand like oh don't forget to take off peck now we're actually using peck why because um if he's in with our bracolum um tutsu can peck the beretta and get the camouflage buff and you get a quick a really fast priority on to get that camouflage it could be very handy i just want to try it it's a little tech that i'm going to be using you got nagais here of course for anatan you know side search mana buzz lullaby and nagais fury and then you have volor in here as well it synergizes really well with anatan as a toxic wind and uh you know toxic plume does the whole um reduction of the attack Oh, we got purgation on it as well. And that sense protective crystal also helps it kind of be a little bit more on the safe side with the electric moves. Uh, we've got, of course, my Inky. My Luma Inky with Thunderstrike, Bright Beam, Corsair, and DC Beam. I actually wanted to use Tesla Prison instead because I'm using Slingshot and Tesla Prison does activate Slingshot. So you would lower their speed and raise up theirs, which is nice control in my opinion. And it also kind of helps Inky's uh, speed issue. So this is the spread I'm using, just a typical spread. Or store uh, or dirt and bright beam. Really good uh to trap and to like evade. And that's the team right there. 
So that's going to be the team. Anatana is on Bay, Kairon on Fire Chip, OP10 on Moro, Whip, uh, Brocolum on Nutrition Bar, Heavy Armor is on the guys, Slingshot on the Inky, Sweatband on the Volaren, and the Shrinehorn on Tutsu. So that's the team. I'm going to be putting the TV as a, I will put the team down in the description as I always do. Although the TVs won't be there because I still need to fix them and I don't want to give you a bad spread. Well, I'm not going to say my spreads are amazing, but I don't want to give you a really bad spread, something that's just not going to work. So especially with Anatan, um, the reason I don't want to fix Anatan's spread is because it's it's going to get fixed later where they accidentally gave it more speed instead of um, stamina. So uh, I don't want to fix it again later on. That, so anyways, guys, we'll be heading into the uh, battle and I'll see you guys into it. Peace out. Okay. All right. Let's get it on. I'm going to be a little rusty more than usual. So this is going to be a nice little uh, thing going on. Oh, no. Oh, Shiera. Then Winter. So there's the Wind Koish. I think that's the Wind or is that Nature Koish? I can't tell. No, that's Nature Koish. Yeah, that's Nature Koish. So Nature Koish is coming in hot. Uh, let's see. Do we? I think we want to ban. Um, I believe we probably ban the Whiplump because Whiplump is scary. <sighs> Whiplump is scary, but so is Tolkien. But we have two things to deal with that. So we have a couple of things that can deal with it. So I think we'll just ban. Um, well, not really. We don't have anything to ban. But we don't have anything. Ah, it's kind of rough, isn't it? I guess I'll ban Tolkien. Although, then Mix is also a problem. Oh, this is rough. I think I'm gonna just ban Tolkien. Uh, does he go win Nature Koish here? Okay, he goes, um, Roller, okay. Roller. Do I just want to go Rocolum? Then he just goes mix though, doesn't he? I can see him just going mix. Um, I think I go Procolum here. Uh, oh, that's rough though. If I go Anathan, then uh, Roller kind of destroys me, doesn't it? I don't really have a choice here. Because I feel like Mix would come in anyways, right? Yeah, there's Mix. Mix does indeed come out. Uh, I think I banned Whiplup here. And I don't know what he bans here. Inky? Yeah, Inky's gone. Inky's gone. Now Inky's your your best ban here, my dude. It makes per perfect sense with what's left in your team. I don't see Volarin being okay. Volarin, why Volarin? Everything else isn't really a threatened by it. Um, I think Tutu and Inky would be fine here. That makes it gonna be a problem, especially with that roller in the way. Um. Because up times four to earth. But even if I wanted to, I wouldn't be able to survive. I think here this is gonna be a rough one. Cause I have to figure out how I'm going to deal with this lead. My only play here is to switch out into Tutsu. To be honest. And maybe just play the uh the roller. Because that's uh, really all I can do. What can he do after this? Mm, I need to find a way to get rid of Mix though. Because if I don't, it's going to be a problem. There's the energy manipulation. Take that pretty decently. Oh, that did, that did a lot. It's gonna live by 6% though. Okay. 
the tag team really came in clutch there. I'm thinking he's gonna switch out here though. But into what Mimit? Mimit could be the thing that comes out. Maybe King Dragon Roar. Uh if we go for another sh plague, he'll just energy manip me again. Thinking I'm just gonna go I think I'm just gonna double in on it though. Or maybe I should pack yeah. Uh, so he doesn't hit me. Uh, I could just do that. I could peck. Just to kind of give myself a... Uh, a little... Maybe I should switch actually. Switching to Anata knowing he was switching was the, probably the better play. Thinking about it. Get the peck off. Oh, he went for a side search on Tutsu. I was thinking he was going for Breda. Okay, yeah, I think switching to Anathan was the play there. Definitely was the play there. But we trap it, but now we get kind of like in this awkward position with my. Where I switch into Benita? Should be fine. Or maybe into Imper, uh, into Benita, I think. Because this is this way. If I can get the Bark Shell in him, Boulder won't be as big of a problem for me. Then I have to switch out. Sure. But I really should have swapped um, Anaton in this turn. That was a misplay on my part. Because um, Anaton also has that whole protective crystal. Protective crystal would have kept me pretty well as well. That was on me, I guess. And I'm not gonna get the uh, yeah, I'm not gonna get the uh, that thing going though. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and get the double on it. Okay, what can I do here? Because the Mimit's kind of scaring me right now. Uh, Mimit does kind of scare me here. But he might not even... Oh, yeah. oh but he can't put me to sleep, right? Um, might just switch out, honestly. Again. So he doesn't get hurt. I want to switch out into Inky though. I guess we switch out into Inky and then just go for a uh, a heat up. I think that's a fine. If he doesn't, as long as he doesn't go for that slot, I, I wouldn't think he would go for that slot, right? Yeah, that's fine. Because that's not going to put me to sleep. That's fine as well. Now here's the thing, he's going to um, Crystal Spikes me now, most likely, right? There's so no doubt about he won't. So I think I'm just going to switch out here and go for the Mineral Hell. I switch it to k to take the Crystal Spikes, but then his Rolder might come in, and that's a problem. His Rolder being problematic as hell. Oh, Tool Wire comes out. Well, that's interesting. Did not expect that. But did it, did I get the uh no right because of the the immunity I should have been fine. Okay. That did pretty good deal damage. He would have died if it wasn't for that, but that's okay with me. Um I kinda have to stay in if I want the hellfire priority here. I'm just gonna rest. I got the Hellfire priority. 
Maybe I should have gone for the kill. Probably should have, but I mean, I don't really need K-Ron here anymore. Yeah, he's not going to take him out anyways. The Benita's doing pretty well right now, just keeping it going. Berta comes out. Okay. Brother, on the other hand, is a pretty big deal right now. I think, do you think I survive a... I probably don't. I could just fire his soul and then switch out into Beretta. Oh, Rush. Okay. I forgot about Rush. You stop playing for a week and you forget about Rush. Damn, that's rough. Really rough. Yeah, that was a pretty easy play for him just because I kind of forgot about it. Well, we don't really have to worry. We do have that plus thing from earlier, so it's not a big deal. Um, do we have Bright Beam online? Because that can save us, honestly. Does he have a dread? No, he's, he's okay. So we could just switch out. And just like... Yeah, maybe we could double in on the... Uh... Cause here's the thing. We go for the Meteor Swarm, the Resin Trap. Because he's not... He kind of has to switch out here. And if he switches out into Oshiro, he still gets hit pretty hard. Or we could... Oh... So I want to also take out the... Uh... The two wire, but is the two wire really a problem now? Not really, right? So maybe I should just go for the crystal into the resin. Okay, he stays in. I mean, that's not gonna kill though. This kills him though, so I just wasted my my stamina. But I didn't think he would uh, switch. He would stay in, honestly. But I guess that is the better play for him because that way he can get two free switch switches. Which I guess that makes sense. I mean at this point we don't need um any we don't need her anymore, so we could just go down here. And what do we do here. Hmm. What do we do here? Yeah, we'll just go for a hit because I mean there's nothing else we can do here. Um, let's go for a plague on this side. It's not gonna kill me, but I think the uh, tsunami might. Tsunami might kill. Nope, no kill. Okay, good. No kill is good. So that's not good. Wait, was that exactly enough? Holy crap. That was exactly enough. Um, but well, now we can't peck, peck him though. So that's rough. Um... I don't know if we survive a hit from this thing either. That's the thing. Well, I don't know if we survive a hit from the uh, Lola. And his crystal spike should go first if that's a fast one. So... This is going to be rough. For me at least. Yeah, he got, his crystal spike still goes first. And it does kill. Okay, well that's GG then. Nothing I can do about that. Uh, GG. Oh well. I played it as best as I could besides the, the that misplay on the beginning. Not much I could do about that. So I can't I can't outspeed this, so. Oh well. GG.
All right, fellas, second battle. That took a while to get to. Man, Q times are terrible in Temtem, but okay, let's go. Who are we fighting to Suri again? Because I know we fought him before. He's running a Raikon team this time. Oh, Babawa. Babawa, Babawa. -ba Raikon isn't really a threat because I have like, you know, three things that kind of like negate it. So I think I could just get away with banning probably Babawa. Although, he does have the neutral coins, which could be a problem. Um, but he did let the. Uh, I guess he has rat though, right? That could be a problem. That could be a problem. He also has uh, two. He has a lot of things to deal with the uh, Nagais. I don't know if I even want to go Nagais. I could I could go Nagai's and a Tando. That could be fun. Or Nagai's uh Volarin. Um yeah, maybe I'll just do these two and then he'll probably just go two vine or something. Two vine or Hazred is most likely the thing that comes out here. Yeah, Hazard Conzel, which is fine. Um, now, what do I want to ban here? Do I want to ban the uh, Tuvine or do I want to ban the Nizrazel? Nizrazel could be a problem for me. I have fires, but it could still pose a problem. Could also get rid of his Tuvine. Oh, I think I do want to get rid of his Nizrazel. Yeah, let's get rid of his Nizrazel. I think as long as he doesn't ban Brock Colum, I think Brock Colum is going to do pretty well here. Um, Oren disappears, that makes sense. I don't think I bring Inky at all here. I think I just bring these these three, because uh, Inky I don't think comes out at all here. I just have to deal with the Koi somehow. But I think Percolum can deal with it pretty fine. I just have to be a little careful how I play the first game. First uh, first thing. He's definitely gonna go for a, a poison move here. Uh let's see, how are we gonna deal with this though? I think Kron can wall it pretty well too, honestly. Yeah, I can see just going key run out, bring key run out. Don't see why he wouldn't. It threatens the Hazrat too. I mean, the poison's whatever. First thing. Even if he heats up, is, is that really a problem? Probably not. Shouldn't do too much because of the protective crystal. That's fine. Not really in a pinch here. I could just crystal. Probably just crystal bite. These probably switches out. Hey. Right. Does he go into Koshrakan here? Let's see that happening. Because he's not in a good position right now. Um, we'll see. It could Hellfire, but let's just do this. It's Gunge, okay. That's actually fine with me. If I'm faster than it, did it like stonewall or something? Oh, it did. I don't know why he would stonewall the sconch. I'm definitely just gonna go straight for it. No? I'm gonna rest here. I'm just gonna hellfire. 
I kind of want to keep Anita in for this. Whatever comes out. Yeah, Stonewall was kind of weird. I don't think he stays in Wikino anymore. Yeah, I was definitely going to go straight for Skunch. There's no reason not to. I could have swapped, I guess, into... Uh, what could have swapped in? Okay, he's just going to stay in. That's fine with me. Oh, it's, it's reactive, okay. Another beta. Okay. I need to I need to keep K Run alive though. Here's the here's just problem number one. Uh, he doesn't seem to want to touch my uh my Benita, but Benita can take a hit, so I don't think I have to worry about that. What I need to worry about is that um oh, problem is that I won't have enough. Um, stamina. But I guess if he hits that side, it won't be a problem. But here we'll go with the guys. If we're lucky, he'll hit the Benita, and that would be pretty good. What did they bring out? Azred, okay. Okay, that's fine with me. Because now we get what we were hoping for, which is exactly what we wanted. Now we get, we should be able to take the hit just fine now. Yeah, there we go. Now we can just go ahead and um, probably just crystal bite into the Hazret. And then the guy's fury. Oh, but then the guy's fury won't kill, huh? Hmm. What can we do here? Could switch back out and just go for the crystal bite on this side. Yeah, I think that's safer. Because we still we should still have Nagais' uh DC aura. And even when you switch it out, you still have the DC aura going. Yeah, I see that as a pretty easy thing to do. We don't really need to use the guys right now. What does he switch out into? Dragon? Okay. Not gonna do a lot, but that's fine. That might do a lot though, because of plus two, yeah. Here's a problem though, because, uh, you know. Um, I don't really do much to these guys anymore. Could switch out to the guys, then just go for a body. But well, I don't think this will do much. I mean, Kron can't really do much anymore, anyways. All oh, right, Rush. Why do I always forget about Rush? I don't know. Just, 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 just what I like to do is just forget about Rush. But I mean, there was really nothing else I could do there. Rush is actually screwing me over. I honestly don't know how fast this guy is. That's the problem. I don't know how fast the uh, Hazred is. Because if Tuta comes out to try to deal with the Hazred, he could still get hurt pretty hard. Oh, we can lullaby. We still have DC Dara. We can lullaby. I just go for the uh for the feather gatling. Okay, he switches out. Kino. Do we still have um 
I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if, if it's faster though. If his Hasrat is faster than my Tutsu. Because if it isn't, it should be fine. I don't know if my thing is up still though. Just gonna go for the uh another fed feather. Force comes to worse. Okay, this seed is still up. We were actually faster than the uh, Raikon. Ooh, double kill. Not bad. Not bad, Nick guys. Not bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Although I didn't, <laughs> I didn't think the the Raikon would go down to one, but I guess that's expected, right? The seed is still up. Not sure. Uh, this should be the last turn for it, though. If it is, if not, then uh, really depends here. What we can do. We just have to lower Hazred a little. If this is our final turn of of the C, we should be fine. I I I, I don't I don't really know how the C works. <laughs> like I know you can switch out and stuff, but I don't know how many turns it took it, it's taken. I think it's been four, so this should be the last turn. If it isn't, we lose. Hands down. Oh, we lost. Hands down, we just lost. Rough. Oh, wait, no. Wow, that plus one defense didn't save it. Excellent. Then we win. I I honestly thought we might have lost that. Okay, so he only has Koish. Yeah, we win. GG. Oh, crap. Yeah. Keeping the Nagais alive was definitely the play. A GG. Well played. Alright guys, pretty well, pretty pretty good matches I would say. Uh, I did some misplays of course. I'm a little rusty because I haven't played for a week. But I mean, I think I did pretty well. Uh, team's pretty fun. I, I'm liking that I get to use my Anatan and my Inky and all that. Especially my Anatan. I've been wanting to use my Anatan in the team. It's pretty nice seeing her being able to put some work. She's an absolute unit and a tank of a Temtem, so it's really nice to be able to use it. Uh, one day I'll be able to perfect it once I get those three hotfixes in like 40 years, because you know, Grandma likes to make us suffer. But anyways, uh, hopefully guys, you guys enjoyed those battles. Um, please uh, like, subscribe as always. Uh, we'll be going back to making some Temtem videos as usual. I feel much, much better from uh, last week. And uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the team as well. As always, I'll be putting the te team in the description below. If you want to check out, uh, check it out. But anyways, guys, if you guys have any like feedback on spreads or anything as well, that'd be fine too. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next uh, video. Peace out.